What is up to all our sidekicks and henchmen out there in the Geek Nation? My name is Noel, and today we're going to do a couple of Thunder Rounds. What is a Thunder Round? A Thunder Round is a 60-second review of a comic book that came out this week. Uh, today we're going to do two of them, but before I do, I just want to remind you guys, if you like what we're doing on this channel, just go ahead and like and subscribe. Um, I, I guess a lot of YouTubers are saying something violent about the like button, so if you could murder the like button with extreme prejudice and subscribe to our channel. Maybe that'll get people to do it. I don't know. Um, but we'll also leave some links down below where you guys can follow us on social media, find out when we uh, when we go live on this channel, which is at least every Sunday morning at 10.30 a.m. where we do our podcast live and you can join the conversation. Uh, this week we're going to be talking about all the books that came out this week that we want to talk about, as well as um, some pop culture news and a book club selection. Um, if you're not paying attention to the geek sphere, uh, this week is Comic-Con at home, so there's probably going to be tons of fun news items to talk about this week. So join us. Um, so, a thunder round. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get into the reviews of the books that I wanted to talk about today. Like I said, I was going to do two. Um, I am setting up my timer here because I'm only allowed to do one minute, even though I'm probably going to break it a little. Uh, whatever, we'll figure it out then. So the first book that I'm going to talk about is... Uh, the Free Comic Book Day Spider-Man issue. Um, it is written by, well, there's two creative teams. It's a, it's kind of a two-in-one, two, two half stories or two short stories. The first one is written by Jed McKay uh, with art by Patrick Gleason, uh, who's now Marvel exclusive. Um, that is a Spider-Man and Black Cat kind of, not kind of, a Spider-Man and Black Cat story. Jed McKay is the current writer for the Black Cat series. And the second half of the issue is um, a short story by Donny Cates and Ryan Stegman. And it's obviously about Venom because they are the creative team for the current run of Venom. Um, so let's just, let's just jump into it. All right, so let's get the timer ready and... Go. So the first half of this book, like I said, is a Black Cat and Spider-Man story. It's a very breezy story. It's very funny. Um, and then it transitions into a honest, thoughtful conversation between two people with a lot of history. Um, it was very well paced. The art is fantastic because it's Patrick Gleason. Um, and it's, it, like I said, it's very funny. It's a very sweet issue. It, it very much, in, in 10 pages, they, uh, Jed McKay and Patrick Gleason are able to capture the, the, the essence of the ongoing Black Cat series. If you enjoy this, then you're definitely going to enjoy that. Um, it's, it's thoughtful. It's thoughtful and, and very good. Um, the Venom story by Donny Cates and Ryan Stegman is a, a very brief little snippet of a fight, but it's, it's the introduction of the virus character who technically was introduced last week, but this was supposed to come out before that. But either way, it's this new villain that we don't really know about, but uh, what the, the short story does, it gives you a, a vi <laughs> virus is able to take down Eddie Brock. Ooh, I'm done. Mm. Oops. Oh, uh, it's a little over a minute. Virus is able to take down, he's able to take down uh, Eddie Brock slash Venom very quickly and effectively. So it, it does raise the stakes of who this character is for other books. Again, um, in, ten, in 10 pages, the creative team is able to kind of give you a really, really good sense of what the ongoing is like. So I would, I would say that this issue, this free comic book day issue with the two stories is pretty successful because it, it definitely gives you a, um, a feeling of the books. Uh, as they're going on now. So if you like these, you're definitely going to like Venom and you're definitely going to like Black Cat. Um, the second book I want to talk about, I can't even show you the cover because it's a spoiler. Uh, so we're just going to like kind of talk about it. I can show you the back of the book. Um, this is Power Rangers, Ranger Slayer number one. This is actually the back of the book. It's where you get the, the barcode and stuff here. Um, so the front of the front cover, it's the it's the one it's the variant that's got the big reveal bad guy on it. When I when I first grabbed it, I was just like Dan Mora art, and I didn't think about it. It's a it's a spoiler. So it's written by Ryan Parrott, who's doing the uh, the ongoing right now with art by Dan Mora, who is everywhere at Boom. It seems uh, does a lot of covers, a lot of interiors. His main book right now is Once in Future with Kieran Gillen. Um, but he did this, this one shot, it's a double sized, uh, issue, uh, for seven ninety nine. It's, it's thick, good stock, paper stock. And it's just, it's a, it's a really, well, you know what? 
we'll do the, we'll do the review. Let me get the clock ready and go. So if you are a fan of um, action comic books that have to do with alternate universes where all kinds of really crazy stuff happens and the anti-hero is stuck there to try and redeem themselves for crap from before. However, zombie style ghosts show up to become a threat for both the good guys and the bad guys and they have to team together. That's essentially what this book is and it's really fun. Um, the art is spectacular. Dan Bora just knows how to draw a page and when I say that I mean the, the fluidity between panels to actually show action to do more visually than the dialogue can is just he's top notch he's becoming one of my favorites um the story is really really fun it's a very very good entry point and I, I don't mean that it gives everything to you I mean that you could read this and it might inspire you to read before but it's just fun as it is there's a there's two different types of entry points one that's literally issue one the start of a story and then there's those issues with kind of then there's those kinds of issues that um, are accessible. So like very quickly you kind of know where everyone stands and you know what the goal of the story is that you could just kind of jump in and enjoy it and enjoy the art. Maybe this something, uh, a low entry point like this, just one single issue that's pretty complete-ish story. There's a little bit of a cliffhanger, but it's, it's fine. Um, like this might inspire you to give the series a shot. It's actually right there on my shelf. <laughs> Um, I don't know why I, I would not have anticipated liking Power Rangers this much, but that's life. You just you just kind of go with it. Um, so those are the two issues that I wanted to talk about today. The free comic book day, uh, Spider-Man and Ranger Slayer, uh, both available now at your local comic shop or digitally if you prefer to read that way. Um, I think that's it today. I, I, I hope we'll, we'll do more reviews this week and maybe uh, get the guys to do some other... Uh, some other uh, Thunder Rounds. There's a lot of really fun stuff that came out this week. Some of it I haven't even had a chance to read yet, but I'm excited. Um, so far, the coolest thing that I've read or was most surprised by was the um, X-Men Empire uh, issue, the em Empire tie-in issue for X-Men. It was just really, really weird, but really, really cool. I would highly suggest that. I'm going to see if I can get the guys to uh, read it, and we'll talk about it this week. But that's it for right now. Um, thank you for sticking with me for these last six or seven minutes. Um, I appreciate your time spending it with me. Be sure to like and subscribe, follow the links down below, join our Patreon. And if anything, um, maybe we'll see you this Sunday morning. You can join the conversation. We'll talk to you later. Thank you so much. Bye.